everyone. Welcome to another Vallejo and WizKids basic set painting tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be covering Defenders of the Wild. That's those adventurers that exist as rangers, druids, and other nature-based characters. We'll be covering how to paint dark green material, leather armor, dark leather, and that green trim that'll bring it all together. Strap in, here we go. Now what we need for this tutorial is a How to Paint Defenders of the Wild basic set, a set of brushes, preferably a zero, number one, and number two, a Vallejo dry brush, some water for diluting the paints and washing your brushes, some paper towel, and a paint palette. Now first we want to base coat all of the areas that we want to paint green with heavy green. Now this is an extra opaque paint that will cover in one pass. You want to use a number two brush for this. Then you're going to want to use that same number two brush with some black wash. You're going to want to dilute it with a drop or two of water and then you're going to make sure that it rests into the recesses creating natural shadow. The next step is to go back in with some heavy green, which is the extra opaque paint, and highlight all of the tops of the folds. We want to focus on where the light would hit the most. We'll be using a number zero brush for this. Then we're going to come back in with some goblin green. And for this, we're going to want to dilute it just slightly with some water. And we're going to focus on a smaller area within that heavy green highlight. Again, focusing closer to the top of the miniature where the light would hit the most. Next we're going to be painting leather, and for that we're going to use a base coat of leather brown. Then we're going to come in with a sepia wash using the number two brush. And we're going to dilute it slightly with some water as well to make sure that it flows nicely into all of the recesses, creating shadow. Next, we're going to base coat all of our dark leather areas with charred brown. Once that's complete, we're going to add a black wash slightly diluted with water using a number two brush and making sure that you focus only on the charred brown areas. Next, we're going to highlight all of the charred brown areas with leather brown. Now, to get a more subtle highlight effect, you're going to want to add water to that leather brown and dilute it. Multiple thin layers will allow the blend to be a lot more subtle. Using the paint straight out of the bottle with just a little water will make it a bit more stark and give it more of a hard edge. Next, we're going to highlight all of the trim areas. So that's little leaf motifs and the edge of the cloak with a camouflage green. We're going to be using our smallest brush, probably the zero for this. Next, we're going to give those green trim areas a wash with sepia wash. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it. When you're done painting your miniatures, make sure that you tag Vallejo, WizKids, and Realmsmith in your social posts so we can see what you came up with. And also make sure to check out the other amazing technique sets and the starter sets in the WizKids Vallejo paint line. We'll see you again soon.